Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, one of the most precious guarantees in our Constitution is that of a fair trial. Every defendant has the right to one. This defendant is no exception. It is you who must decide his case, not I. You must weigh the evidence carefully. Counselor, you may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the state will prove that the defendant, Reuben Bartlett, who is a known henchman of the notorious crime czar and bank robber, Felix Nash, did in fact murder a fellow prisoner while in jail. And for this, the state asks that you extend his remaining time of five months into a sentence of life without parole. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the defense will show that the deceased was not killed by the government. In fact, he wasn't killed by anyone. He died as the result of a tragic accident. When in a poorly lit stairwell, he tripped over an inadequately placed railing and plunged regretfully to his death. If there is a guilty party in this case, it must surely be the system. Such unsafe conditions exist. Once you've heard the evidence, I'm sure you'll agree with me that the charges against my client, Mr. Bartlett, are completely spurious. That you will find him not guilty. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, are you all right? I uh, just fine, thank you. as though it's imperative that they see the environment within which this unfortunate accident occurred. Therefore, we move that these proceedings be continued to the site of the alleged crime. Well, I find this request highly irregular. However, if the prosecution has no objections? Uh, no objections, Your Honor. So be it. These proceedings will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. at the Dracup Correctional Facility. Oh, boy. A field trip. 